All right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Hello, YouTube land. Hi, baby, just say hi too. Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Elite, of course, from Elite the Phoenix, and today we have a very special guest, the Mister in this relationship, Stephen, my husband. What's up? And as you can tell from the title, we will be trying Mexican treats, and I'm really excited about this. Um, for our honeymoon, we went to Cozumel, Mexico, and mm -hmm. we decided to um, purchase some treats from the local grocery store, right? It's called the Mega Grocery Store. It was called Mega, and um, yeah, we just thought it would be pretty sweet to uh, record on camera because this is our first impression for all these random treats. We just really went down the aisle and just picked out stuff. Racked up, those amazing. Oh, and you'll see it actually in our vlog, which will be coming up. This might go out before then, but if it does, then I'll put a link somewhere on the screen that you can click to go there after you finish watching this video. But without further ado, are you excited, babe? I'm super excited. Sweet, let's get into it. Let's and do it. Duh, keep watching, but don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so for the first candy, oh wait, 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 duh. First, these are some of the things that we picked up from mm. um, Cozumel. Here's a little pouch. It's like a little coin pouch, right babe? I call it a little mini duffel bag. A mini duffel bag. Keychain. And then this is a little monkey, so cute. He's drinking his little drink. Oh boy, got a little bit of cerveza it. with it, you know? Steven, of course, had to get himself a cigar. Yo, every time I went out alone, guys would try to sell me cigars. It was crazy. That's true, so. And then this is our little piece of art, little Mayan warrior head mm -hmm. um, made out of wood. And then we also have a wooden recorder. And so, would you like to uh, show them a little sign, babe? Oh, you give me the, oh yeah, yeah, shoot. Yeah, Yo, I used to play the recorder back in the day. <laughs> if you want to hear a little bit of a <clears throat> hot cross buzz, is that what it's called? <laughs> Nobody I wants your you. hot cross buzz. <laughs> Hold on, I got you. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Yo, I hate you. This is X Factor, <laughs> every X. Yo, you're the worst. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started. All right. <laughs> so, which candy you want to try first? Um, let's try these bubble I mean, let's try these Swinkles first. No, you're saying it wrong, babe. Swinkles? Squinkles. And a squinkle. All right, let's a try it. A Swinkles. Okay. Relenos. Relenos. Squinkles, Relenos. The, the double L is a Y. So. Oh, Rayanos. Rayanos. Rayanos? Rayanos. So Rayanos. we brought some scissors. Cut this crap. Not crap, but stuff open. This looks like. What's it smell like? Oh, it smells like the tamarind kind of chili thing. Okay. Like, it looks like it's covered in chili. So you just want to split. They're yeah. kind of wet. Looking. Oh, that's, that's cool. So here's that. Kind of wet looking. Uh, but. Right. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, you want me to take this one? Yeah, I guess. Are you okay with that? Yeah, it's basically like a tamarind smell. So we're just gonna bite it. So cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's not bad. Not bad. What would you say it tastes like? It tastes like a regular, like, uh, you know those candy straws that we used to have when we were kids? Mm -hmm, those sour punch ones. But basically tastes like that. Toned down because it has like this chili powder kind of stuff on it, right? Yeah, it has a little bit of chili powder in it, and it has um that's not some, bad. some goo in it. I don't know what the, yeah. I don't know what flavor the goo is. Maybe that's turmeric too, but it's not bad. Mm. Not awful. No awful. I would eat these. Good. I would eat these. Yeah, those aren't bad. Next, we have homegirl over here. It is um Dolce Vero. Right here. Okay. What are they called? Gomitas Menita de los Suerte. De la, de la suerte. 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 Nuevas. If anyone knows these candies also, like let us down, um, know down below if you've tried these or um, if you're familiar with Mexican candies and you love them, tell us what your favorites are or anything really. Sabor Fresa Cereza. All okay, right. Show them the front of them. That's it. what the wrapper looks like. That's the wrapper. And then um, we did try these yesterday. I couldn't wait. I, I had to at least try one type of candy. All right, so I'm gonna pop one these. out for Lady E. And it looks like this is her. All right. So if you see on the wrapper. All right, so guys, check girl. out this wrapper. All right, check out the wrapper. Check out Homegirl. Okay. I'll let the camera adjust. Yeah, make it pull back. And then. This is what she looks like. Now this is what the candy looks like. What is that? It's her because look, she had a pink bandana and. 
But what are these toe looking things on the top? Like that that looks like dividers. What is that? Okay. That's not her. It's a foot, all right? I think it's a foot. <laughs> well, know? cheers. Let's eat it. Oh, manito? Maybe manita is like hand. If you know what that means, let us know. I mean, we could have Googled it, honestly, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I like these. Tastes like gummy candy. Like you know those peach rings? These are like a strawberry version of peach rings. With really, really little flavor. I think they're pretty. Like they're like sweet and sour. It's almost flavorless. You're not bad though. Um, I'll pick the last one. I'll let you pick the next. Oh, let's do this one. Oh, please read it in Spanish. 100% natural. Oh, that's that's that's. Pavito bolita de tamarindo. Call them chili. So I think these are like actual tamarind candies mm. with chili. And um, there's a turkey on them. That's what they look like. So. One thing I noticed about a lot of Mexican candies, no. a lot of it has chili and or spice added. Why? Who knows? Cultural we didn't thing. Google it, so you can let us know that too. We kind of didn't do any research. We just kind of wanted to come into it blind. We can split one because these look intense. Okay, babe. Let's try it. Okay. We're gonna split it. Look how big this is. Is it breakable? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, this is what it looks like. Looks like a lump of Play Doh. Because <laughs> like a lump of Play Doh. So. Oh, it's soft. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of skewed out. I'm not. No disrespect. What's that smell telling you? It's the chill. I don't know what tamarind really tastes like. What, so maybe it it's like. like? All right. Cheers. All right, whatever. Let's try it. A big gulp or a little take? I'm gonna take a little bite. Right. Okay, um. I'm not tasting any real good flavors here. And uh, also, this is a little bit of a strong. But yeah, I got a little nut in mine. I'm not sure what that is. Not too bad. Okay, I don't like it, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. I just don't. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. But a lot of flavor. It was a lot of very sour, sweet flavor. It was too much for my taste buds. So I'm gonna go with no, but I'm glad we tried it, right? This was actually one of my choices. He picked the, out. At the shop. Like All a right. typical man, he picked out a bag of freaking nuts. So uh, <laughs> this is golden nuts, right? Uh, check out the bag, okay? I'm just gonna read things on the packaging. Tostado perfecto, that means perfect, you know what I'm saying? Toasted to perfection maybe, who knows? <laughs> I think that's what it means. Sabor perfecto, I don't know what sabor means, but that, that probably it has perfect in it as well. Estilo japones. Japones. You think you pronounce the J in Spanish? <laughs> you can see what goes there. <laughs> Japones. Okay, okay, this okay, my Japanese bad, my nuts. bad. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Japones. <laughs> okay, your dad, premium. Okay, show them the packaging. So check out Golden the packaging. Nuts. All right, let that readjust. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna cut yeah. this open. A little, a little cut should be good enough. I'm not gonna rip open the whole packaging. No, you're right. But I feel like we would like these. I don't see why we wouldn't. A little handful of nuts. Now, these, these nuts are big. These nuts are big and they're why are these smooth. nuts so big? Check out the extreme smoothness of these nuts. Yeah, not like American nuts. It's like they're coated in something. So, I'll take uh, I'll take three nuts. Oh, oh, oh. I was gonna share. So, let's just split this up. No. All right, okay. Give me one of those. Okay, let's eat the nuts. <laughs> give me go two. All right, so. Now, uh, with Cheers. just gonna get these nuts in. Oh! Whoa! That's pretty good. They're crunchy. They're, um... They're crunchy nuts. They have, like, a coating. So this smoothness is some type of coating that's actually they're on like, the nuts. They're, like, kind of like air puff nuts, though. They feel like... Because they feel... They crunch almost with a hollowness. This is like, um... Like a like Japanese... Like corn nuts. I don't say... It's like a Japanese nut. It's a... I don't got a so Japanese right. company. And uh, they have these sort of nuts where it's coated in something, mm. and the outer coating is usually flavored somehow, and then the inner mm. is just the actual nut. It's pretty good. That's really. I don't, I don't taste later. I don't taste the japones. I thought japones was like, like a, spicy or something, but I thought it meant jalapenos, which is dumb. So my bad. That was good. It's pretty good. We'll finish that bag. 
No okay. choice on the man. Yeah, you can pick those out. So we have another thing of squinkles. And squinkles. And this one is, well, it doesn't say the flavor. Neither of them say the flavor. That one was red though, so maybe this is like an orange, right? Mm-hmm. So let's cut it open. All right. And see how that goes. Oops. Seems to be a bit of struggle there. Mm, I don't know, but you can see more the goo in it. Citrusy uh, type of scent to you it. See that goo? It might be orange then. Alright. So you just wanna bite half mine? Or do you wanna rip it? I'll rip it. Okay. Whip it. Whip it good. Okay. I just rolled my eyes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I like that way better than the first. I like the first way better than this. Alright, this one might. I'm dabbing. Here. Let's keep that on this side. What do you think the flavor is like? It's the same type of flavor, but there's a little mm -hmm. bit of orange in it. Let me taste the chili more on that. I think I like this chili more on this than it did on that one. I like it on that one. It blends better with this flavor. Cool. Oh, well. Works for me. All right. Cool. I'm Time okay. for the next candy. My right hand. Why do you always sit on the wrong side? <laughs> I'm a lefty, he's a righty, and we always sit where we'll bang each other. So, <laughs> we'll bang each other. Anyways. Heard that. All right. So the next one is this Bel Pavit or Bel Pavito. I don't know if this little piece of candy here yeah, is supposed to be an O or if that's just the candy placement. Who knows? But um, it's a uh, Paleta de Caramelo, Carueta de Love Deliciosa Pasta oh, del Termingo. Great. So it's like a some type of strawberry caramel tamarind candy concoction. Let's try it. Maybe this will be tasty because it's like caramel. It should be. All right. Yeah. Can't be that awful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's wrapped in a rubber band. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is some grade A mashed produced type of I candy. Mean, each it looks like it's a. With a it's kind of creepy. I feel like maybe someone. I feel like some dude just like wrapped this and put it in a put bag. Put it in a bag and, and stapled it because. Uh, this is cool. This is authentic, right? Yeah, authentic. That's a good word to use. Let's let's go with that. <laughs> okay, maybe it's like a caramel apple, but not. Okay. It smells well, like just just like the others. It it's all got has like. like a tamarind smell to it. But it looks grainy. This might be real tamarind too. Cheers. Cheers. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, so let's do it. Some spicy flavor. It's got a thick coating. Some fruity Something flavor. inside. It's got a thick coating of like this. Yeah, think of like a like one of them go pop things. How many looks does it take to get to the yeah, center? Yeah, tootsie roll pop. Yeah, okay, just put it open. All right. Okay, okay, so yeah, yeah, but it, there's like candy on the inside. So like a hard candy center with like a thicker Play-Doh-y kind of ah, outer area. Not bad. Nah. It's not awful, but uh, we don't have time to be eating this yeah. whole entire candy right now. So I'll that's finish actually, it. I said that's pretty good. The inner candy part's really good. And now, babe. Yes, babe. Don't get mad at me, but I want to pick the next one again. Oh, that's fine. Is that cool? Yeah. Next treat. Oh. <laughs> is this? Cardboard. <laughs> now, what is this, you say? Why is he picking up a thing of cardboard? Well, I'll show you. Give me a few seconds. So, I got him. So, during our trip, we actually took a tour of a uh, tequila factory. Mm hmm. It was one of five families that make it in that area. Yep. And uh, this tequila factory. They're not like a mass produced, like hugely known in the US or all throughout the world type of factory. But uh, we went there, we took the tour, mm -hmm. and we tried their merchandise, and gosh, it was fucking delicious. You can leave that out later. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, I told him not to curse that much. And that's um, one of those big curse words to people. So, He's just opening it. But yeah, he takes on a tour. These were one of the liquors. It's been aged for seven years. Yes, that's right. Seven years. And it's great just straight up out of the bottle even. Yeah, it's like a fine whiskey. But it's tequila. 
So it's freaking delicious. And what they do is they actually age them in whiskey barrels. So that's why it's browner. Yeah. And it has more of a whiskey taste to, or has a whiskey hint to it. Yep, that's Because they're right. aged in a whiskey barrel. So like they have some type of deal or connection with uh, Jack Daniels. Mm-hmm. And they just buy, because Jack Daniels only use their barrels, like their barrels once. once. So after it's used, they, they just, sell them. Or they, they sell them. Sorry. And uh, this company here, Purchases those barrels whoop, whoop. and uh, so ages their tequila. So I'm just gonna pour a glass out for elite. Well, shout out for elite. Thank there you, you go. I'm excited. And oh, Stephen, you have to tell them if you want to be a connoisseur of, of tasting this tequila, what should you do, my love? <laughs> uh, first of all, we didn't need the accent. Cause, cause it was awful. <laughs> that was my fancy <laughs> talk. Um, now, if you really want to taste this whiskey. 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 This tequila. What you do is you you clear your palate, right? <clears throat> clear. Smack your lips a little. <laughs> okay. So as you drink the whiskey, mm -hmm. you just breathe in through your nostrils, I'm gonna and then when you swallow it down, you breathe out, and you'll just taste like the nice, smoky, delicious flavor of the whiskey barrel. So. So. Drink, breathe, breathe in, and then breathe out afterwards. That's right. Okay. So, Down. Up. up. Salute. Salute. That is freaking delicious. It is like the smoothest. It's so damn smooth. Oh, tequila ever. I'm having a liquor gasm. But um, those don't exist. But <laughs> this here, what mm -hmm. is that? The Galo de Dios. Is it, what's in the front of it? A bunch of words that are in Spanish. Oh. Anyway, Regalo de Dios. Mm -hmm. uh, Regalo means gift. De Dios means oh God. Gift of God. Gift from the gods. Gift, gift of the gods. From the gods. Okay, it's so, not just one God, though. Okay, sure. God. Well, the Mayan culture is over there, so. Well, who knows? But anyway. Anyways, <laughs> that it's was delicious. Damn delicious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, uh, we're going to yeah. keep this. Uh, for quite a bitter time. It's gonna yeah. be my celebratory uh, tequila. Ooh, that was tasty, man. And don't you ever dare mix. I mean, you can mix this, put okay. it in a big drink, but you know, don't do it. It's good on its own, honestly. It's amazing on its own. Okay, so this next candy we have is El Original Producto de Dolce Charlie. It's called Miguelito Pina Paleta de Caramelo Mas Caramelo Macizo. Machizo. Does she sound so American pronouncing these? Caramelo. Well, <laughs> All right. I speak French better than I speak Spanish since I don't really know any Spanish, but um, it looks like another one of those like chili candies. It's this what the wrapper looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're lollipops, so here's one for you, my love. It looks like it's a pineapple candy, I would say, covered in like that chili coating again. Which, again, why with the chili? It's why interesting the because like as a kid, I. I mean, I wonder how kids like these candies, basically. Yeah. Like this chili coming out of the bottom of the straw. Yeah, here's what it looks like. Alright. Pop mine out. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's a little like a, a lumpy nugget. Cheers. I'm gonna bite it, so. I'm gonna... Lick it. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is not a good initial flavor for the lick, like... Uh, it's um doesn't have any sort of good taste <laughs> whatsoever. Bite it. It's actually much better when you bite it. Because then you get the full oh, candy. That mixed, is delicious. Mix with the chili on the outside because it is really chilly, like kind of spicy. Oh, so it is like that drink <laughs> I meant. They put a little bit of spice in it. Oh, like maybe put cayenne pepper and like, Yeah, cayenne pepper, a little whiskey, and mm -hmm. well, get that crown whiskey. Right. Um, but uh you put a little caramel. With the tamarind and the mm -hmm. from chili, it actually tastes pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I would eat this, but I think you should crunch it over licking it. Yeah, don't don't just lick it. Cause then it's just chili, and that's not really that tasty. But I'm a fan. This is good. Okay, last one. All right. Sub submarinos. Ahora españolcito. That's a... Sabor vanilla. Vanilla. Flavor. That's what sabor means. Ah. Uh... Makes sense. Got it. Or taste. And this got flavor of the year for 2016. Hey, that's Snack this of the year. year or something. So this kind of looks like a Twinkie. A Mexican Twinkie. A Mexican Twinkie. 
Would you like me to do the honors? I mean, por favor. I if I just cut these one of these little Twinkies. Twinkies. Step on. Oh, yeah. It basically looks like Yeah, this is Mexican Twinkies. This is Mexican Twinkies. Want to split them? Yeah. Right. My nose is starting to run from all that chili. <laughs> all right. Oh, yummy. I didn't make a weird noise. Okay, it so made the most the, like that sound. moist noise. Like, you ever take it like a bowl of mac and cheese and just ray in a spoon through uh, it? That noise is so nasty. That, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> But delicious. Oh, this was out the whole time. Well, just ignore this. We're not really recording for that. Real All life. Right. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Pretty like luster. I mean, it tastes like a Twinkie to me. And I just but like we don't Twinkies. like to do it, yeah. Now I just want to deep fry the other two. Just it off. Very, very good. That's not bad though. Just like. Not awful. Okay, so. Let's wash that down with some angry orchard. Okay. Oh. Okay. Much better. So, what's your favorite candy? Oh. Or a treat? Favorite treat? Besides the tequila. Oh, yeah. Um, so. I like tequila a lot. If I had to be honest, I actually like that last lollipop that we had, the pineapple one. Mm -hmm. Because once you get through like the gritty, mm. nasty, con chile side, it's actually delicious pineapple. And you mix it together. So it tastes good. great. It tastes great mixed together. So I'm a fan of that. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say your favorite is? My favorite, I think, are either, I really like these nuts. Because I didn't know they were crunchy like that. I love these nuts. I'm, it's crazy that she loves them. I love these nuts. Um, but if I was thinking of candy, I really like these. But these are very American. So I'm going to go with the squinkles. First one, these red ago. squinkles. Ah! Oh, uh, these ones. I thought these were really good. Even though the they just look really weird, but I think they're really tasty. All right. So, um, I think that's it for our video, right? That is it. So listen, thank you so much for watching this video while Stephen pours. We really appreciate it. Please uh, comment down below what you thought or if of any of the candies, or if you um have any favorites for Mexican candies. Let us know. Again, we appreciate you watching. Do not forget to subscribe. That way you know whenever we post a new video or whenever I post a new video. But definitely if he joins me. And um, until the next time, it was so great to see you all. And cheers. Salute. Salute. Talk to you in the next one.